yeah. So thank you so much, Sarah, for coming in because I actually requested for you like this early in the morning, like one. It's almost one. I almost more than one, right? One twelve. One twelve. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So now, without further ado, I think we can start now. And also, we have another passer tonight. It's Julian. So yes, congratulations, congratulations, everyone. So let's start. So yes, well, you can type in your um, your greetings for both Sarah and Julian. So let's start. Um, Sarah, give us a little background about you. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah Duran, and I was born and bred in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I am a registered third nurse and I have been working as a neonatal nurse for almost eight years both in Riyadh and uh, in the Philippines I think <laughs> and then um, I took the IELTS exam because um, um, for me to start the um, processing of U.S. immigration mm, yep so how about your right where did you took the exam you... um well um First, I took the exam uh, last January 2020 um, in BC, but I failed because my overall band score was just like six, and then my speaking at uh, 6.5, and then my speaking was just six. So after that, I took the exam recently, like around like September 15th, yeah, at the IDD, because at that moment, um, BC was not um, available for scheduling that time, so I took the IDT. Yeah, <laughs> and um, my agency is just uh, keep on bombarding me with some of their text and email to get the uh, the IELTS exam now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What mode? Um, is it paper based or computer based? Uh, it's a computer based academic. Both of them. Okay, under yeah. IDP, right? So yeah, yeah, let's talk about your preparation and what's the difference between you know your exam last January and la this month. Um, you know, um, I think there's nothing much that um, different. Both of them actually are both um, computer based, and um, well. Last January was just like a, a risk, and I did not even um, review. Yeah, mm. prepared. Although, um, then I got frustrated when I got the score because I thought I was just that confident in speaking English. But then, when that time when they throw me a question, it's just like, oh, I don't know the answer. So mm. I started to rumble and I started to like stuttering, and I was nervous. So at that point, I'm, I know already what is the form of questions and I'm already familiar with the reading, writing, and listening. So, okay, let's, um, since I got already the overall band score, I can just um, combine and, um, okay, let's focus on speaking then. Okay. So, so um, yeah, I, I, then um, the lockdown happens, so I started reviewing since lockdown. Wow. Okay. So, what um what are your materials that you use for your writing is um, written exam, and for your speaking? How oh wow. Yeah. Um, for written exam, I was not just uh, focused on that because mm -hmm. right in the U.S., immigration is just like a speaking. So, um, I enrolled actually in allearsenglish.com mm, with uh, Jessica, Jessica Beck. Beck yeah. uh, yes, and I always um, listened to uh, their podcast. So I took the chance to uh, get their quiz and I got a six, that band score of six. And their template is actually helpful at all. I just like, copy it and apply it in the reality exam and I did not even know that I really passed the writing exam that's like 6.5 yeah and um, and with the IELTS I, I bought the IELTS Lee's essay topics oh my God. so that I would have a idea somehow mm -hmm. with for example with the general questions at least I have already idea when it comes to brainstorming so that's it. I mean, that's it. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really focused 
words and writing. I really focused on speaking. speaking. So, yeah, with my resources um, regards to speaking, I Kate O'Hare is num- is my number one, and then the with listening podcast. It's um, IELTS Energy Plus Seven. Mm-hmm. It's under also that. old yeah. years. Yeah, I know and, that. I got that also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, because I'm not really a voracious reader, I I just want to pop up my um, headphones over my ear, and then while doing you know um, duty, it's very accessible. Yeah, I mean, speaking and then the IELTS assistant, speaking assistants, that really helped. Though I did not memorize everything, it's just like a practice. Because according to, according to one of my friends, you don't need to like memorize everything there because it's, it's random and it's enormous. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I got inspired with one of your episodes, the speaking battle. That mm. is most amazing with the three finalists i got inspired there i forgot their name but i remember zaya am i right Thea. and the uh, last oscar. one I forgot. oscar yeah. oh yeah. my word i said when i hear them it's like okay. oh my word they're so excellent superb <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong <laughs> but then um you know um in reality and when you're already in the hats but I did not um, I did not have a chance to have the hyperbolizing words or yeah, high yeah. words mm. vocabulary words okay. because the examiner keeps me stop <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like you know um, that really made me inspire everything and um, with my speaking bodies as well although we had only one session on our group yeah so um, yeah, I mean that that's it. You have to like speak every day, like every day, even at work, and okay. even you're talking to your um, colleagues and parents, educated parents. So for your speaking exam practice, how did right. you how did you do or how did you manage? Um, so if I, for example, um, off and, or off to work and uh, like morning because I think 4 a.m. here is 11 or 10 in Middle East I think Mm -hmm. so it just so happened we have actually a separated group Uh, we actually um, with um, Miss Julia Cabrera because she that time we cannot go through to your (laughs) um, the main group yeah. yeah with the main group because we don't have any chance at all. So we made a small group and um, we tried to exchange our feedbacks and ideas. And they're great. My first speaking bodies actually is um, Ariane, Eds, and Karen. Shout out to them. Yeah, later. <laughs> they're, really, yeah. mm. they're really good, actually. Yeah. Okay. So now let's move on to your actual exam. Okay, let's focus on your speaking. Okay, so for your speaking, um, tell us, uh, this, please describe your examiner. All right. <laughs> my, no, I don't want to be, my examiner is uh, female. She is very, what do you call this? Uh, very blunt affect. <laughs> but then um, she is um, Filipina and quite um, old. <laughs> yeah, and then when uh, so I meditated first, and then I told and prayed to Lord that once I touch both foot on the ground, I should be more calm. I should not be like intimidated with her main features. So yeah, um, at first I got nervous, but it it really went well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, okay, if you could still remember your questions during your actual speaking, so part one. For the part one, she just asked me if I'm still working or, or if I am work or study. And then, I, of course, I say work. And then if I'm working with my profession now, should I continue in the future? 
And then, yeah, I said, because I want to be a nurse um, practitioner or a neonatal practitioner someday. And then afterwards, um, do you like comedy? So, um, and then, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, do you, yeah, it's actually not crystal clear because I was so nervous. So, yeah, do you like comedy? Do you like telling jokes? Um, do you want to watch um, in the future comedian um, live shows, something like that? Mm -hmm. And um, that's all I can okay. remember. Okay, no, no problem. Okay. Yeah, so, and also for your part two, what topic did you describe? I think for the part two, she asked me how uh, can you describe um, special dress? Yeah, mm. special address, and um, I just followed the bullet point because actually, if uh, it, it maybe you may still remember in each of the success story, and I keep on asking, do you follow your bullet points? Because there is just um, there is actually uh, like Jessica Beck, she was saying that you don't need to follow the bullet points because once you answer the bullet points it's just only for 50 seconds but for me it really helps me to organize my thoughts and you just need to like a little bit additional information for that and it will really accumulate for two minutes once i finish all the questions i just slightly tangent with the main questions because I don't know what to say. I just want to finish in two minutes, and then I didn't. I didn't um, do some conclusion because she suddenly stopped me. Okay. Yeah, she she's really she's really um, very strict in time, and she keeps on like raising her hand and stop talking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, for your part three. You know, that one is actually, um, that's actually a con um, conversion, con what do you call it, controversy um, topics because she was, asking about, she was asking about the traditional codes, values, and beliefs. But then it was form of conversation. It's not, isn't it uh, for the party they will you have to say your opinion your reason example that did not happen in my situation and and if you remember that i asked you oh my god is it guys is it um is it a good sign if the examiner keeps on cutting you off <laughs> i mean i mean i i'm starting to um to be nervous here so what are the the good or bad and um i think she had really a specific like, like for example when is the last time you wore traditional clothes and of course um i was grew up in Riyadh, and that time we don't have um, resource in about uh, wearing filipiniana so we just improvised it so I, I, I told her, well, if my memory serves me right, I wore traditional clothes last elementary days, and we celebrated Independence Day and um, represent the folk dance. And then she suddenly stopped me. And then she asked me if, um, um, where do you think can everybody wear their traditional clothes? And then, and then I said, wow. Oh wow, <laughs> that's actually an interesting question. <laughs> I said. So I have a lot of feelers, and um, yeah, I was not given a chance to to give any reason, example. It's just like a formal conversation because she keeps on stopping me, and and maybe I had a phrasal verbs, I had a two idiomatic expression, which is my favorite, over the moon. Had a whale of time, <laughs> I think, yeah, something like that. Okay. And yeah, I mean, that really bothers me. And I said, Is this a new thing in IELTS? Poetry is a conversational <laughs> form, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, I, I mean, as you can see right now, I don't focus on grammar, it's all grammatical error, as Please. you can hear me right now. Um, because um, according to the professors from IELTS, even Keep O'Hare, it is the least that you can study grammar because it, I think from TED Talks also, 
it takes eight years for you to familiarize all the grammar rules and to be perfect. Uh, well, with the speaking bottle exemption <laughs> with them. But um, I think the technique here is that if, if you are not good in grammar, I think you can give them the pronunciation. You can divert their attention from their pronunciation. Because um, if they feel that you are alive and not monotonous, they will just feel bored. And for that, and for and for that examiner, um, when usually right, our technique is that in each, uh, not in each question, we're going to uh, give introductory, um, like for example, is family important? Well, family here is a tradition of blah blah blah, right? Before um, answering the question, her reaction is just like bow, and then writing, and then her eyebrow is raising. So I said, okay, let me change the strategy. Then I <laughs> answered directly with her question. And then she suddenly, um, when she hear, her, hear my voice, my punctuation and everything, she, she suddenly looked at me straight in the eye. And then she answered in reply. Supposedly, the examiner should not do that. <laughs> but um, yes, that's correct. Oh, I said, Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. But then again, your opinion doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. the language is actually mm -hmm. most essential here. And um, no matter what your opinion is, it, there's no black and white, right? I mean, um, everything is correct. Whatever your opinions, opinions were or opinions were, yeah. So yeah, that's my actually okay. experience with okay. the IELTS. Okay. Um Sarah, um, do you still remember your writing question, your task one and task two? The writing task one um, is a process. Um, mm. It's actually the rain precipitation and then when to the types of each house residential and then how they filter it to be a drinking water. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's the question that's for it. writing task one. Okay. For the writing task two, is it um, do you agree or disagree that the government should focus or give the most of the budget financial to the competitive players, mm -hmm. such as joining to the Football World mm -hmm. Cup and um, Olympics, rather than with the children who, um, who have um, like um, joining in the physical education, something like mm -hmm. that? Okay. Do you disagree or agree? Mm, okay. So now, Sarah, is it fine for you or it's not bothering you um, if you could share your result? Is it fine? Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah Especially yeah, sure. that this is uh, your, yeah, sure. you redeem yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Um, my All of them are seven except wow. for for writing 6.5. Oh, so I think you're qualified for UK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not really good in writing, so I don't bother to uh, just uh, perfect it like seven. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Um, okay, so any tips to all our you know, members? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, um, to go in the greener pasture is really difficult. My goodness, um, from the uh, e NCLEX, right? And then this IELTS exam, I think this is the more difficult one <laughs> than in NCLEX. Um, anyway, um, you really need to like focus and have goal at the end of the day. I really stick with the study plan with allearsenglish.com. And uh, with the speaking, you just need to like go out from your comfort zone. I mean, if I, I for myself, I can say that I'm quite introvert, but as, as I can build some confidence, I become a gregarious person. So <laughs> I was like, okay, even though it's a grammatical error, they, you should not be like um, ashamed of, from your, uh, of yourself. Um, you really need to like, practice and practice and with the main group from Mr. Jeff and with the free speaking bodies. I, I, I mean, all the resources are actually there. 
it's just up to you how would you apply it in in the real exam i mean there are techniques and strategies and which are your which which are um makes you more comfortable to use it and um don't stress yourself i mean enjoy <laughs> enjoy the moment of um talking with the examiner and i, I know i know it's just a um, nerve-wracking uh, all of the um, sections and listening the reading and the writing it, it really actually makes you more super nervous and yeah i mean just smile at the examiner think think and um have enough sleep because i really did not because <laughs> i was working some like yesterday i was working six and 16 hours and uh, yeah i have less sleep and then the, the when the COVID happened, we are always working like a dog. So yeah, I mean, you, you really just need to push yourself. Remind yourself that this is for my family, for my friends. <laughs> yeah, you, need, you, you just need to be positive and try to meditate every morning. It really helps me a lot to be um, positive right away in the morning, in the morning and then meditate. Yeah, and then just pray. Um, Prayers is actually the best tool that you can ever have. <laughs> so every morning you have like, or even evening you have affirmation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> affirmation. Like I need some meditation. Like that. <laughs> wow. So that's a different tip right now. So okay, mm -hmm. Sarah, I, this is the best time for you to say thank you to everyone. If you have some. If you have some names, you can drop it uh, yeah. and say it. Yeah. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, of course, Sir mm -hmm. Jeff, because the first time I, I saw you, it, it actually is uh, from Keith Mastermind Community. And, um, and then I just uh, ignore it because I'm, I'm like nervous because I cannot speak myself to the public. <laughs> And then the second time around in the forum group, and then I took already the chance and the message to the sir, can you please invite me over? And then I would like to thank uh, each and every one of you because um, our community itself, you know, we are at uh, that moment, I really felt that uh, we are very supportive to each other. And um, especially with my small group, mm. Miss um, Ariane Cabrera, if you're listening, um, Eds and Karen, they're my first speaking bodies. But I just had a first session with them because it's just a few days when I joined your group, a few days um, before my exam, maybe five or four, four days, I think. So, yeah, I mean, and um, also I hired, um, I watched the success story of Mia's um, Philippine, I forgot her name, and um, she rec recommended Miss Annabelle Pangilinan. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, because before, uh, it's, um, uh, be because before, when I don't know this platform yet, I used to talk with the different native speakers in italki. And it's $15 per day for, I think, 30 minutes, I think, or 60 minutes. I, I forgot already. And, and of course, they're in a quite tight budget. So I, 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 it's a good thing that she recommended her. She's really actually supportive and uh, down to her. She really gonna help you, and at least at least this um, English teacher, she will give you a feedback with regards of what you're trying to say. Uh, it's normal for us, like for example, we might think that our answers are not correct. It's just normal because at least somehow someone is listening and may understand. Because you know, at the end of the day. If you're going to speak with a native speaker, as long as they understand you, that's that's actually the main goal for IELTS exam. Yeah, and for my parents, I think they're <laughs> watching right now. Um, they're in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Hi, Baba. Hi, Baba. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Ya Rabbi, Rabbi. 
to my mom. My mom keeps on praying. Oh my word, she she's really crying now. I <laughs> and uh, with my family and friends who and my colleagues actually they're very supportive with me. So yeah, guys, okay. I'm I'm thank you so much, and I I am very over the moon. Now. <laughs> Until now, now, right? right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I don't will, have any words. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We will open now um, the portion for Q and A. So if you have question, you can unmute your mic. So while waiting for your question, or if you shy, you can type in the chat box. Okay. Um, Sarah. Okay. So because you you live before in. KSA. So during your exam, what type of um, clothes did you wear? Oh, a comfortable clothes like um, t-shirt, tank t-shirt, and um, two jackets because I know it's super cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rubber shoes and jeans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I explained that to the examiner because um, she also asked me in part three, like, uh, what do you usually wear? So I, I, I said to her, as you can see me in front of you, <laughs> and she just smiled that I'm just so simple. I'm, I'm just like wearing t-shirt, jeans, and I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. during your exam, speaking exam, you are really comfortable and you right. bought your personality. I think that's one of the most important as well. I, yeah, I, I think that's really a key. When um, If you have really a confidence, that really flows well. I mean, no matter what. Um, hesitations, it's very rare that I went for um, more in fillers. That's the technique there. Like, uh, to be candid with you, because um, we always um, uh, talk like, Tell to like to the examiner to be honest with you. Okay, let's change to be candid with you, to be forthright with you, something like that, with different one. And then I don't use re repetitive words. Uh, Thesaurus.com actually helps. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah. I mean, I just replace words like people, individual, society, something yeah. like that. Okay, <laughs> so okay, I think they're not um, unmuting their mic. So there's one question from Anshul. Um, please share how to tackle part three. Can we use personal pronoun? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When, when um, I think in traditional values, if you're going to, I forgot the exact question, but if you're going to use it or pass it to your future generation, I said. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because I was I was raised in Riyadh. My my both of my parents are Filipinos, and um, we I, I still used to talk po and opo. I, for example, you can say that um, I I'm a I for example, I uh, I can say that my family keeps on teaching me the good values, which is um, the traditional culture, uh, Filipino culture, something like that. Okay. So Brent said, um, I had you, Lodi. A shout out, <laughs> Brent. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> That's Brent. And RJ said, um, Oh my God. Um, okay. RJ said, Congrats, Ma'am Sarah. Ganda. Thank you. Oh my Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, now they have new I Lodi Idol. And yes, from Kaylin Kai, how many weeks or months did you prepare? Um, since lockdown happened, from um, to be exact, March up to September. Yeah, <laughs> that's too long because during that time, there's, I think uh, I was not ready. So, uh, and also the testing center, I think, because here it's the Philippines keeping like lockdown and ECQ, GCQ, <laughs> something like that. So it really took a while. Okay. So okay, I will. Yeah, actually, we only have less um less um six minutes. So I will okay. ask uh, from Maria how you, how you practice for reading, especially matching headings. 
Oh, wow. Um, for the reading, I don't practice every day. You know, it is the last minute before my exam. Uh, I, I just um, took the, uh, what do you call it, the Cambridge uh, number 15 to be exact. Series number 15. Then I just run dry and, you know, all, look over and then I said, okay. I think I'm I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the the technique there is that you need to if you're really if your weakness is reading like me, I'm not a voracious reader. Um, I think um, the technique there is the scheme and scan. That's what Miss um, Jessica Beck explained um, to us that if you really don't have time, um, you have to uh, practice scheme scan and then. Um, then read the headline or the paragraph if for example you already find the keyword itself so yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so before we end I think, uh, we just only have less than five minutes any special words of wisdom or sayings that we could uplift our members <laughs> you know you, you know <laughs> when you asked me this one <laughs> simple i mean um, don't don't um, think um, failures. Think it is a it's a blessing in disguise. It, like think it maybe if you failed your IELTS exam, never give up. So there is a saying that try and try until you succeed. <laughs> I think that's the uh, right term uh, right for that. So yeah, I mean for me, like um, you just need to boost your confidence and be positive. And with tell to other people that you're going to take an IELTS exam, it really helps. And um, with their prayers, actually, yeah, that that really actually helps. So, yeah. Okay, so actually, Sarah, there's also some of the comments, but this is something like a personal, but it's something to answer. But I will just read it. Someone said, are you single? So don't answer. It's up to you. Okay. Um, wait. Where are you from? Where are you from in the Philippines? She said she's from Quezon City. And did you eat rice before the exam? Or no. only chocolate? <laughs> no, no. Um, I actually uh, drink coffee, espresso, because I'm a coffee lover. It really helps me to like improve my mental focus. So I don't... Uh, I think I eat, yeah, I think I eat in Starbucks <laughs> and in coffee, full loads of um, espresso shots. So, yeah, just to keep me awake. <laughs> I think you have that a lot of resources. You can avail the uh, native speaker, speak, speaker application, your read IELTS list, and Jessica Beck. Yes, so yeah. You are yeah, very, it, very it, fortunate. It, uh, <laughs> And no, I actually, if um, you know, if you really want to pass IELTS exam, uh, you need to invest really money for it. Yep. And um, with their strategy, strategies, mm -hmm. yeah, with their strategies, it really helps. Yep. And uh, with Keith O'Hare, wow, that really meditates with his voice, with his um, tone. The proper the proper pronunciation that really helps me a lot too to overcome all the isn't it because I was born in Riyadh so we have this strong accent so I overcome that somehow when like listening to him every day Tuesday and like, Tuesday and Thursday yeah okay so yep and your speaking partners Ariane Cabrera uh, anyway we just only have less than a minute um, Ariane said you have a lot of admirers. So anyway, so yeah, that's all, guys. Thank you so much, Thank you. Sarah. Thank you so much. And break a leg, everyone. Just yes. pray, keep on praying, and you'll do. You'll do. Okay. And you'll do this. Congratulations, and see you Thank in you the so US. Much, <laughs> Thank you yeah, so much, Sarah. Thank you so much. Yeah, see you. <laughs> okay. I hope we all had a reunion. Yeah. Bye. Don't leave the group, okay? So yeah. <laughs> That's all, and we another have after this. We have for Julian success story. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Good night. Sleep again. <laughs> Good night. Bye. Bye.